Hi, I'd like to show you this latest project I've been working on. This project was sponsored by Next PCB, who are kind of the PCBs for them. Uh, what this is is a six digit serial performance face board aimed at electronics hobbyists. It has 3.3 volt level inputs as well as 5 volt. So it can be the first common microcontrollers such as the Arduino, Raspberry Pi, etc. It's aimed as a development board uh, because on the input connector here, you've got your simple, you've got your data in, your clock, your watch, and you've also got an output enable pin, which can be used to control the display brightness through PWM. I've got a demo program to show you that, but more on that later. The board features four diagnostic LEDs here, which can enable troubleshooting if your project doesn't work, to see if there's data actually into the shift registers, etc. Uh, and the circuit consists of basically a logic level shifter there, or buffer, and a chain of shift registers organised from right to left. Uh, there's some information on the board there that gives a bit of information on how the segment patterns are laid out and the data direction. It consists of a chain of TPIC 6B595 shift registers, which well, like the Civit for HC595, these are open source output, sorry, open drain outputs only, so that means they're always sync current. Uh, on the HV595, you would send a logic 0 to sync an output pin. On these, you send a logic 1, so, but more on that later. So basically, these turn the segment on, you send a logic 1, turn it off. Send a logic zero, so the both score. Although these, although these are common on the displays, the both like common cathode displays as far as the software is concerned. So it's quite a useful little board. Uh, I've got, I'll be selling the prototypes on eBay, and if they do sell, I'll make some production ones, so to speak. Um, these are assembled using salvage components, where if I do make them and sell them. I will use uh, new components. Displays were salvaged from old equipment, which you may see in my previous videos. Uh, some of these chips are new. Um, the input, it takes 12 volts input. Goes through a fuse, through a 7.5 voltage regulator here. Uh, there's a reverse polarity protection diode there. And it provides a 5 volt output pin here. Which you can use to power your Arduino from. Like I said earlier, that's your data input there. Um, I will do some instructions for this, and I will put them on my blog, which is there, so you can access that. Um, so if you do want to buy some of these, you can check out my eBay page. The link is on my blog site. Um, like I say, they're very useful for hobbyists, especially with the diagnostic LEDs and etc. Yeah, I think... Uh, I think now I'll show you it working. Okay, now to show you it working. I put some demo code on here, which just uh, basically it's a stopwatch. It's running from an Arduino. Uh, this is a red version, as you can see. Uh, it got power LED here. Uh, yellow for data. Clock is green. Latch is green. Some of the LEDs will appear dimmer, because that depends on the duty cycle of the signal going to the display. And finally, your output enable pin. That one's off, because the output enable pin is active low, so in normal circumstances that is off. If it lights at red, it means you've got the output the shift registers disabled. It may light up dim if you've got PWM enabled to control the brightness of the displays. Um, so yeah, like I said earlier, data comes in here. Through the buffer, struck electric level translator, and then down the chain of shift registers from right to left. Uh, that's pretty much it, really. Um, obviously, you can't buy displays like this large that's based on the things like the common serial chips or the Max 7219. You could use a Max 7219 drive to display this large, but you need additional driver transistors etc. This just uses shift registers, it's much easier. There's no multiplexing etc. 
Um, but I think this would be quite a useful tool for projects, hobbyists, that sort of thing. Uh, and like I say, if you do want to buy one of the prototypes, head on over to my blog site where you can find the instructions and a link to my eBay page where you can purchase one. And if they're successful, I'll make a couple of production ones uh, and then try and sell them. Uh, what I do want to show you now is the green version. Right, as you can see, this is the green version. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but with this using salvaged LED displays, some of the displays are from different batches, so the green isn't quite the same shade of green on all the displays, particularly on the end one. That one there, that's that's a display that appears dimmer, but it's just around the same batch as this one. These two displays are from the same batch as is that one. So you can see there's a uni un uniform brightness in the displays. That's simply because the LED displays have come from different batches. Uh, obviously, if I do make these to sell, then they will have that problem we saw with on the same batch. But this is one of the prototypes you can buy on eBay. I will put them on eBay likely within the next few days. So, as of from the publish date of this video, so if you do want to buy one, head on over and take a look. So, I think that pretty much wraps this video up. If you've got any questions, uh, please ask down below, or you can visit my blog and ask some questions there. Like I said, there are some full instructions and some sample demo code you can download for an Arduino, which is basically a stock which you can see now uh, and that's pretty much it that wraps this video up uh, thanks for watching